بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمد ونسلي على رسول الكريم أما بعد ما من شيء يصيب المؤمن من نصب ولا هزن any believer that goes through any difficulty any hardship أذن في جسده sickness on his body إلا كان كفارة لخطاياه except this is a means for forgiveness from sins cleansing his slates clean Abdullah ibn Masood was the Nabi of Allah and he addressed him Ajabul lil mu'min Strange and amazing is the matter of a believer and the hardships and difficulties that he goes through sickness وَلَوْ كَانَ يَعْلَمُ مَا لَهُ فِي السَّقْمِ If he knew the value of going through all these hardships and these difficulties then he would have wished أَحَبَّ أَن يَكُونَ سَقِيمًا الدَّهْرِ He would have wished that he would be sick for the entire lifespan that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given him. So the people of Iman are fortunate that if Allah inflicts a person then he must be hopeful of reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Likewise Nabi alayhi salam then left his head to the heavens for dahika and he smiled. So the Sahabi said, Oh Nabi of Allah, I seen you lifting your head and then you smiling. Mimma rafa'ta ila samai. Nabi alayhi salam replied, Ajibtu min malakaini. I am amazed at two farishtas. They were seeking a servant fi musalla. Kana yusalli fihi. At the place of salat, where he normally reads his salat, they did not find him. So they went to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ya Rabbana abduka fulan. O oh Allah, so and so, we normally write reward for him night and day. But we have not found him because he has been involved in the sickness and this difficulty. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala addressed the farishtas, اُكْتُبُوا لِعَبْتِي عَمَلَهُ الَّذِي يَعْمَلُ فِي يَوْمِهِ Write down the reward he used to perform day and night and do not decrease one moment one fraction of reward وَعَلَيَّ أَجْرُهُ And as long as he's in the sickness, I take responsibility to give him reward. When a person is sick, then we've been encouraged by Nabi salam to give sadaqah and use sadaqah for shifa. دَاوُوا مَرْضَاكُمْ بِالصَّدَقَةِ That cure your ill people through sadaqah. As-sadaqatu tasaddu, as-sadaqatu tasuddu sab'ina baaban min as-su. Sadaqa is a means of closing 70 doors of evil. Sadaqa is a means of blocking, stopping, preventing 70 doors of evil. So we should make it a habit to be charitable and generous. Encourage Sahaba, اِتَّقُوا النَّارِ وَلَوْ بِشِقِّ تَمْرَةِ O my Sahaba, fear Jahannam. If it is one kajur, one date, if you only own that, give it. فَإِنَّهَا تُقِيمُ الْعِوَجِ Because through the sadaqa, you will straighten all crookedness, all bends, all calamities that are possibly coming. The sadaqa can remove that. وَتَدْفَعُوا مَيْتَةَ السُّوءُ And it can protect a person from a bad death. وَتَقَعُوا مِنَ الْجَعِي And it is like how a hungry person, his hunger is satisfied like that. Whatever our need is, which Allah alone knows, the sadaqa will be a means to fulfill that deficiency. إِنَّ سَدَقَةَ الْمُسْلِمِ تَسِيدُ فِي الْعُمْرِ That the sadaqa increases a person's lifespan. وَتَمْنَعُوا مَيْتَةَ السُّوءُ It prevents a bad death. وَيُذْهِبُ اللَّهُ بِهِ الْكِبَرُ وَالْفَقْرُ وَالْفَخْرُ And through it, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala removes pride, poverty, and arrogance. So we should be in a habit of giving sadaqa. Bākiru bis sadaqa. O my ummat, rush towards sadaqa. Fa inna al-bala la yatakhatta sadaqa. 
because calamities that are en route, pending calamities that are close to hit a person. When a person gives sadaqah, it's a means whereby Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala diverts that adab and calamity. Hassinu amwalakum bi zakah. Purify your wealth through zakat. Wadawu marudakum bi sadaqah. And cure your ill people through sadaqah. Wastaqbalu amwajal bala bi dua wa tadarum. And welcome and prepare for any calamities and hardships through dua and submission to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ibn Qayyim has mentioned that in the sadaqata ta'thiran ajeeban fi daf'i anwa'i al-bala'i that sadaqa has a very unique effect of removing different types of balas and calamities walau kanat min fajirin even though this person is a sinner and is disobeying Allah or min dhalimin or even he is an oppressor then he continues to say bal min kafirin even if it may be a kafir fa inna Allah yadfau biha anhu anwa'an min al-bala through the barakah of this charity Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala removes calamities wa adha hadha amrun ma'alumun inda al-nas and he said that many people have tried and tested it and they've seen the barakah of giving sadaqah. The author of Faithul Qadir Allah Manawi has mentioned فَإِنَّ الطِّبَ نَوْآنْ جِسْمَانِ وَرُوحَانِ Medication, there are two types, the physical medication and the spiritual medication. فَأَرْشَدَ النَّبِيَ عَلَيْهِ السَّلَامِ إِلَى الْأَوَّلِ Nabi alayhi salam in these ahadith has indicated to us that there are cures, outward cures and inward cures. And then he has encouraged us فَأَمَرَ بِمُدَاوَةِ الْمَرْضَى بِالصَّدَقَةِ that cure your ill through sadaqah. And he has informed us that through doing good actions there are a lot of benefits فَوَجَدُوا الْأَدَوِيَةَ الرُّوحَانِيَةَ تَفْعَلُوا مَا لَا تَفْعَلُوا الْأَدَوِيَةَ الْحِسِّيَةَ That that benefit and that cure and that remedy which external medications can give, you cannot compare it to the benefit and the cure for spiritual medication. So Lema have explained that Nabi alayhi salam has encouraged both and we should, based on a person's yaqeen, adopt the methodologies but our attention should never go to the external means but more to the spiritual and yaqeeni asbab which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us. Tasaddaqu, be generous, make sadaqah, cure your ill, فَإِنَّ السَّدَقَةَ تَدْفَوْ أَنِ الْأَعْرَاضِ وَالْأَمْرَاضِ And it's a means of curing different situations and circumstances. مَا مِنْ يَوْمٍ يُسْبِهُ الْإِبَادِ Daily. إِلَّا وَمَلَكَانِ يَنْزِلَانِ Two farishtas descend. And they make a dua and they make a badua. For a person who is generous, they say, اللهم أعطي منفقا خلفا الله that person who is generous replace him substitute and recompense him for it ويقول الآخر اللهم أعطي ممسكا تلفا إن الله سبحانه وتعالى the one that is stingy and is not generous then يا الله you destroy him daily a person wakes up with this dua or baddua. A person came to Abdullah ibn Mubarak and he said that I've got a lot of sores and on my body and it has been there for seven years. وَقَدْ عَالَجْتُ بِأَنْوَاءِ الْإِلَاجِ I've tried every form of cure and I've asked the doctors فَلَمْ أَنْ تَفِعْ بِهِ 
but their medication, their treatment was not beneficial. So Hazrat Abdullah said, "Idhab fandur maudian yahtaju nas ilal ma." Go and see, look for a place where people need water, and give, spend, dig a well, and provide. He said, "I did that for faal too." I did that for Bari'a and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cured him from that. Imam Bayyaki has mentioned an incident as well that a person had boils on his face and he tried every remedy and it never helped. So he asked Abu Uthman as sabuni to make dua for him and on the day of Juma, the Imam made dua and the Musalli said Amin. So there was a lady that was there and she heard that so and so is sick and he needed shifa so she started making dua for Hakim. That night Ra'at fi manamiha Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam she seen the Nabi of Allah in a dream and he told her Qulu li Abi Abdillah yuwassil ma ala al-Muslimin tell him to find opportunities where he can give water to the believers. So she came and she informed the Imam and informed him and he made arrangements for water to be provided. And they started utilizing the water and drinking from the water and benefiting from it. Not even a week passed and Allah gave him, gave him shifa and all those boils were d disappeared in his face Better than how it was, his face returned to a better form. So sadaqa and charity is very important. Abu Bakr Khabazi says, Maridhu maradhan khataran I was involved in a sickness that was dangerous. So my, my, my life was a threat, a life-threatening illness. My neighbor seen me and he said, use the words of Janabi Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi Use charity to cure people. So he said, as I heard it, فَشْتَرَيْتُ بِتِّيخًا kathira. I bought a lot of food, melons, etc. And the poor people started gathering and I fed them, and after I fed them, they rafa'u aydihim ila Allah, they lifted their hands to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in dua, wa da'u li bis shifa, and they made dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for shifa. He said, ma asbahtu illa wa ana fi kulli afiyah. In the next morning when I woke up, I was cured from that sickness. I was cured from that sickness. So let us utilize the avenues which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has provided for us. See, there was a person from Riyadh and this lady had cancer and she was going through treatment but she was on the severe stages and she decided for a service to hire an Indonesian assistant. And after a week of her arrival, she noticed that this lady goes to the bathroom and takes very long. So she inquired from her this reason for abnormal behavior. And she started crying. And she said, I gave birth to a baby boy 20 days before this. And now I needed to extract the milk to avoid the pain. And as well, her family needed money. So she left her child and came to Saudi Arabia for this job. This lady was shocked. She immediately decided that this is not correct and she prepared full compensation for the period that the contract was signed for. She paid the ticket, the fare and the amount for the years that she was contracted for. And this lady, this maid left after a few days when the maid had departed. The lady went to the hospital for a normal routine check and 
when they did the test, they found that she had recovered completely. They did not believe the test and thought so there was a flaw. So they recommended other tests. And after repeated tests, they found that all the cancerous germs were completely removed and there was 0% infection. Then they were convinced that she was completely cured. The doctor inquired from this lady, what treatment had you undergone? And the lady then quoted the hadith of Nabi alayhi salatu was salam, Dawu maradakum bis sadaqa. Cure your illnesses through sadaqa. There was another incident of a person from Egypt and the doctor told him that all your veins have closed up and uh, he inquired if there was a possibility for any remedy, surgery. The doctor replied that if you go for surgery, it is very dangerous and I don't think so we can administer it, but your situation is so serious. I recommend you go to Germany and they inspect you and find a solution. But even if they do find a solution, the chances of survival after this operation is very slim. So the man thought so, that these are the last few days of my life. I might as well get discharged and go to my family and on my trip to Germany, I might not come back as well. So he was discharged, he prepared for his departure, he met his family and sorted out all his matters. So the doctor encouraged him that he, used, he should go immediately because his situation is very serious. So he, before the day he was going to leave, he saw a woman near a butcher shop and she was collecting bones from the butchery that is discarded. So he asked her that, what are you doing? She said, I'm collecting this. We don't have food at home, myself and my daughters. So he said, but don't you have any money? She said, we have not eaten meat for the last two years. This is the only meat or that we can have. So the man spoke to the butcher and he said, this woman, I am going to pay for all her expenses. She will come to you every week for so many, for the next 12 months. I will pay you in advance for all her needs. Then that lady started making dua. Oh Allah, give him health. Oh Allah, give him whatever he wants, all his needs. Then after that, he needed to do the final test so that he could send it to the hospital in Germany. When he returned home, then the daughter and the family said, you look very changed. She said, may Allah is preparing me for my travel. So Allah knows best. And he went to the hospital and they were doing the final test. Then the doctor inquired from him that, did you go for surgery already? He said, no, I haven't gone for surgery. He said, you sure you haven't been to any hospital, not taken any medication? He said, all your veins have opened up. It has opened up so much that you don't need any surgery. So he told the doctor, I know who the real doctor cure is. He said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one that gave me shifa from the sickness that I have. The amal for today is, أن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم كان يقرأ المسبحات قبل أن يرقد ويقول نبي عليه السلام used to read the musabbihat before he sleeps that is surah hadid, surah hashar, surah saf, surah juma, surah taghabun and surah a'ala فيهن آية خير من ألف آية and there is one ayat that is more virtuous than a thousand ayat May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq of making amal. Wa akhiru da'wana anil hamdulillahi rabbil alameen.